from the day one of these protesters. Is in a sense. The prosecutor in this case tried the man and not the facts of the case. I don't think the jury got to hear all the evidence in his favor. The whole approach of the prosecution was to try this individual as a bad guy. Fred Freeman, in my opinion, is probably the most dangerous person I've ever come across. He's the Charles Manson type. There's almost no direct evidence. There was no direct evidence. It was all circumstantial. We have no evidence. The jury found uh, that he had committed the crime beyond the reasonable doubt. doubt. Of course, of course, I accepted, I accepted it, it. Uh, as, as I did every jury verdict that I'm aware of. But the judge also has that option of saying, you know, despite what the jury said, it is my firm belief that this man was not proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, and I therefore find him not guilty and send him home. Uh, right. yeah, no and question. You would have chosen which of those two options. I, I would have, I would have, in effect, overruled the jury, and, and, and I might not even have sent the jury out to deliberate. I might have said, "That's it." Obviously, there have been cases, jury verdicts, where I felt uh, the jury was wrong, uh, but obviously it was not within my power to do much about that. I thought it was the most ridiculous testimony I ever heard in my life. It was like something out of a bad movie. I mean, there were. There were ninja stories and, and uh, you know, secret rendezvous at the waterside and jumping out of trees. I mean, it was, you know, it was insanity. There was a lot of, of uh, irrelevant uh, material brought in. Fred Freeman was able to, to collect what, what we refer to in loose terms as a harem. He had a bunch of women that would do almost anything for him. It clearly shows me that uh, uh, Mr. Freeman uh, did not shoot Mr. Macklem. Thank you. He, he passed the polygraph. For the little bit that I know about polygraphs, uh, a person with no conscience could pass it. They're totally unreliable. That's why no court in the United States uses them. They really tried the defendant as a person as opposed to trying the defendant on the facts of this case. I'm confident that we have the right person in jail. We had uh, information from the landlord that indicated that this person was involved in some, some unusual activities in regards to some martial arts and things that, that fit with the statements we got from the uh, girlfriend of the victim.